Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a really urgent update for you today where we are going to be covering the absolute critical level of support that everybody has to be aware of right now. I will be covering that support level and the trade that I have taken off of this and I'm also going to be covering the next resistance to very much be aware of. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to absolutely love this video and the order of proceedings are going to be taking a look at the CC Fibonacci level, which has me absolutely shaking. Love that level. We're then going to be taking a look into what is happening right now on the lower term time frame here. You know, we have to cover the absolute critical support and obviously what's going on here and how can we expect this to play out over the next few days. You're going to absolutely love it. Get your get your thinking caps or get your notepads out because we have got a masterclass for you once again today. So starting here, where we were just a second ago on the 12 hour chart. Obviously, we all know the level that we rejected from if you've been watching the videos. Obviously, that's the Fibonacci taken from the 10th of May down to the 22nd of June. From high to low, we all know where we have put in our current high on the Bitcoin chart, and that was off of the CC Fibonacci resistance, okay? So with that in mind, that is holding us down on the larger term time frame. So when we have, what happens when we zoom into the lower term time frame? Well, hopefully you know, we can still use these Fibonacci levels, and this is where we rejected from yesterday. And let me tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday I was in a long position from the CCV sort of area where we had the swing failure pattern of this low. I was in a long position, and I was looking for higher, obviously, to the top of our channel. We never reached the top of the channel, and this is where truly, truly, truly it separates the you know, the newer trader from the more professional advanced trader. And that is reacting to what the chart gives us. It's not trading what we want. It's trading what we're given. Trade the charts. I will explain that now. We take our Fibonacci from the high down to the low. Obviously, this is the low where I took that long. And we can see here a rejection quite simply from the CC Fibonacci level. But we have more. We have more. If you watched the video oh, two days ago now, we were obviously talking about this you know, I put a tweet out. If you're not following on Twitter, by the way, just go and follow now because I'm giving pretty urgent updates there. And obviously, two days ago now, we were talking about, uh, you know, every time we see this, in terms of probabilities, you would favor a downside based off that always. We would always base, you know, we would always say the probabilities are more likely to the downside when we see this. And what is this? It is the trapped longs up at the high. So here we obviously had 25 million new longs opening into resistance. And when they get trapped, like we saw off of the CC two days ago, we have to change our bias and look for downside. And that exact same scenario, ladies and gentlemen, happened again yesterday. So we came up into the CC. Obviously, this was after I'd already published the public video. But basically, after that video, we had seen another move to the upside. And like we're seeing here, I'm not sure if you can see this. Yeah, we got our rejections. We get the, you can't see this photo, but that's pretty funny. The insane Bitcoin well manipulation. And then, yes, of course, this was then me shaking off of the CC manipulation. What what manipulation is going on in this market? Uh, <laughs> and then obviously we see here all of these massive trap longs. Okay, so I'm, I done another tweet for you yesterday. And this was, yes, 21 hours ago. So again, follow on Twitter if you're not already, because this was after I've already done the video where I'm saying I'm looking for higher, but then I gave the update to give my change of opinion based off of the new data that we have. And that was quite simply, obviously, from that swing failure pattern, we're not looking up necessarily to all new all-time highs, we're just looking up to our next level of resistance, which for me was obviously the highs, or well, simultaneously, obviously, around that CC, looking for the channel high, didn't reach. Why was that? Well, we had the CC, and then here, we actually come on to 100 million. At the time, we had 60 million, but then we put in another new high here, and that was at my time, 12.30, put in even more longs, and we had 100 million trap longs at the high. So just like last, you know, two days ago, I was saying, you have to favor downside off of that, Ladies and gentlemen, you have to favor downside when you see that known. You have to favor downside. And this is the thing that the probabilities are always changing. They're always changing. So what might have been at the time, highest probability is to the upside. Once you have that new data, once you have the new statistics that are coming in here, like hard, cold evidence, you have to then be able to, you know, change your bias essentially and recognize this is no longer the highest probability of upside. After seeing that, the highest probability is, of course, to the downside. And that is what separates the beginner from the professional, being able to recognize and change that bias. Whereas some people might say, 
Oh, Daniel in his video uh, five hours ago said he was looking for the upside. I'm just going to hold my long and they're holding their long and they're holding their long and they're holding their long and they're massively underwater. Whereas I've cut the long, <laughs> you know, I'm out of that long that I took yesterday and entered into quite simply a short position. Why? Well, based off of the data that I had. Obviously a short position and... You know, oh yeah, I was going to say this. Shout out to the people that see their PNL curves like that. That's that's quite something to say about. But I mean, we just have to react really simply to to what's happening in the charts. No, and that is very, 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 very important. And so that I hopefully I hope has explained to you well enough here in this brief video that we got of why we rejected where we where we did why we did not make it any higher. Okay, quite simply, it was a rejection from the CC. And the, the number one opinion, in my opinion, here is obviously those massive amount of trap longs okay that's enough really to say hey we're trading the charts here probabilities have changed and we're looking for lower and where were we looking for yesterday where did i tell you where did i tell you we're looking for if we see a loss of support at the time ladies and gentlemen it was obviously the daily level 44,388 and this is where i'm saying if you if you want to if you want to get the heads up write down the levels that i give you because look at this from that from that, where we were looking for yesterday, have a guess where we bounced off, ladies and gentlemen. Have a guess, have a guess, have a guess. High term time frame levels. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. So from saying, if we lose our support, we're coming to the daily. Well, non-stop, loss of support. Uh, we come straight down to that daily for about. So I was saying, we're going to cover now what is happening here and pushing onwards for the rest of the day. Okay, so we got, oh yeah, before I get on to that, I want to I remind you that we have a World Series of Trading event. The World Series of Trading is a trading event that is going to be hosted, obviously, on Bybit. And this is going to be starting with, I'm going to create a team for us over the next, uh, maybe I might do it tomorrow uh, or Friday, but I will create a team for this. So I'll put out a video for this in, uh, yeah, I suppose, maybe Thursday or Friday. So get ready for the World Series of Trading. And while I'm here, uh, also pretty epic. I think this is pretty amazing news. But <laughs> but we won the highest traded volume on Bybit on the Bybit Partners competition, which is just that's pretty insane. Though, e.g., we have the highest volume out of everybody in the world um, of Bybit Partners, I suppose. Yeah, so we are absolutely stacking and trading some absolute serious volume. So that kind of gives a heads up of how we're able to predict these levels. So like this guy says, like this guy says, and then starting to think your levels are respected because you are creating the level set. Well, we have the highest traded volume on the whole of Bybit and we are respecting levels absolutely perfectly. CC to the daily level, bam, bam, ping, ping, pam, pam. Exactly as predicted. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that World Series of Trading starts in two days. Well, it starts actually in a few weeks, but I'm going to create the team for you tonight uh, and we'll put up a video for that in the next few days. So be aware of that as we move on to what is happening right now. OK, so you can see here if we come down on let's come down to the 15 minute chart and we can see we obviously spent a little bit of time hovering above the daily. As always, I'll give updates to my team yesterday at 10, 10, uh, 10 o'clock, still waiting patiently for lower. OK, waiting patiently for lower and, you know, surprise, surprise, waiting patiently, very patiently. It took a few more hours, but we were waiting for that daily. And well, obviously the daily we got. OK, and we're getting a bit of a bounce underway at the moment. So, whew, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I, I am excited and shaking from what is happening here on the Bitcoin chart. So what we are what we are seeing here is currently there's a few things to be aware of okay there's a few things to be aware of we currently have our bit of oh, you can see here how we generated support a bit of a support okay support here with our candle closes support and support so if we drag that old support along okay and we're basing it off of from these candle closes really up and along these areas of our wicks that's clearly an old support zone no it held us up for a total of you know a total of 23 hours so basically one whole day one whole day this was support. So that support when lost is resistance. So we can clearly see right now, based off of that fact that support when lost goes into resistance, we have our current close by resistance. Well, pretty much we touched it on this wick, but we're saying that that's coming in at about, I would say here that it comes in really about that 45,000, let's just say 45,700-ish, okay? Uh, give or, you know, you can give it a little bit of a space either side. Uh, so we really got that first SR flip in front of us right there, okay? 
eg we, we are pretty much at the resistance here locally on the 15 minute time frame 15 30 minute time frame we are at we are at resistance at the moment okay so we can we, there is the possibility that we put in a smaller range here eg from that sr flip and obviously the pretty important support in my opinion being this daily level and that is of course the same as yesterday $44,388 so we have a bit of our mini sort of range going on here between the two okay uh should we obviously break this to the upside I truly think that we can see our move back up towards well obviously our old CC level but that is now, there is now a new CC in here <laughs> from the high down to the low that's obviously giving us our level of around uh, basically around 46,100 okay uh, would be our next level to the upside and then should we break that we can still make our way back up, potentially back up to that big, big, big $47,000 level, okay? And potentially even back up to the channel high. Obviously, this is the channel, older channel now that we were having on our shots. And we can still see if we get past the midpoint, that high of the channel is absolutely still in play. So you cannot forget about that channel. As I will always say, once you've had a well-respected channel, which it was, to be fair, with four touch points, you want to keep it on and remind yourself of it. Should we, um, you know, should we clear our first SR flip? Then we got our CC. And then, yeah, we can absolutely be looking back up to that $47,000 and then the top of the channel. Should we break the top of the channel? Of course, we can be looking back up to that 48 slash, you know, really coming into $49,000, $50,000. Okay, might seem a little while off now. And yeah, I suppose it is because we still have a lot of resistance to clear above us. Support to the downside, a lot more easier to define, in my opinion here anyway. Support, have a guess where the support is. Well, of course, we have this daily level below us, okay? I truly do feel that this is quite an important level. Of course, if we lose that support level, it's it's highly, highly likely that we're coming back into a, you know, it's, I would have thought it's highly likely that we're, we would be heading back down towards 43,500, which is your last you know, your last demand zone here before the rise to the upside. Uh, th this is, you know, this is, in my opinion, I mean, uh, this, the daily for me is important, but I think in terms of critical, you know, critical emergency support, I would say it's really that $43,000 because if we lose that, well, surprise, you know, it wouldn't be a surprise at, in, in the slightest to, um, you know, see level, you know, see prices below $40,000, you know, it re really wouldn't surprise me in the slightest to see that. Um, so yeah, that, that that's the way that you have to approach it. I think I was like, yeah, it's like, uh, obviously I this was over on good old, good old Twitter as well. How, how can you not love Twitter? But obviously uh, for the for the people that don't know, um, I do live streams obviously for the members. And yesterday I did a members update, so this is an update, you know, way before the breakdown happened. And personally, I did you know make it very obvious to my team. I have the bearish bias at the moment. I am not going to enter a long position here made it very clear i'm not entering a long here i am waiting for lower and uh you know so that was an update that i gave to the members yesterday waiting for lower hey and of course that was right where we were waiting for lower and you know now we have to acknowledge we have our support of the daily below below this we have around you know say around forty three thousand dollars if and if we lose that well it, it seems pretty probable let's just remind ourselves it's probabilities but the probabilities are pretty high for below 40k now one would one would envision that because of the fact that we moved up here so quickly we haven't really generated much support so this is our current um you know this is our current trading zone okay where we currently have you know a very well defined trading zone to be fair we have our levels very clearly defined and then not only do we have our levels clearly defined, but we also have the massive, massive, massive edge on the market of being able to read the order flow, of being able to read the hard, cold evidence in front of us. It is not a guessing game, yeah? It is not a guessing game. It is not gambling. When we are looking at the data as it is coming in, hard, cold, statistical evidence in front of you of who is trading, where is price most likely, to, you know, this is just, this is the edge that we want in the market. So it removes these sort of, is the level going to break? Is the level going to hold? When you start to look at the volume and the open interest, you know, your probabilities go from a, you know, essentially a, maybe an educated guess to a very strong statistical edge. So this is what we obviously are have to continue to monitor, just like we had to continue to monitor over the last few days of when we're reaching into those CC levels. Are we still expecting higher? Or do we have to change our bias and now look for, for lower on the Bitcoin chart? Okay, last few times it's obviously led to lower. Um, so yeah, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Uh, I've talked you through, in my opinion, very important support levels, two pretty massive support levels in terms of 
critical in support, support levels. And the, le the level should we break up from here and this daily does hold, we know our next levels to the upside, the SR, the CC, and then we're moving up to around 47K once again. Uh, what I will say, ladies and gentlemen, is if you want to see more, I have the TPO finale, the TPO finale uh, Esther Nodge here. Tonight, we are going to be going through that. And last week, I've probably done one of the best predictions you're ever going to see. Uh, it was pretty it was pretty special and tonight I'm going to be doing a live trading video again so done it last week and I absolutely nailed the prediction to be fair if you're a contender or champ you'll know that one and I'm going to do the same tonight for the finale we're going to go through a rundown one more time using the theory that we've learned putting it into practice to find the next best trading setup so that will be tonight and then we will start a new series next week you know straight into the education so um yeah, if you want to see the TPO finale that tonight, that is stream 111. Uh, that's for the contenders and the champions. As always, if you want to see these sort of updates, uh, even special members only streams during the day when something important is happening, I'll always be happy to come on and give my opinions. Yesterday, I gave the update. I'm looking for lower. We got lower. If you want those sort of updates, that's obviously for the group here for the public. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. As always, smash that like button as hard as you can. And I will say it again, the same as yesterday, 2000 likes. And I'll do a public, uh, free public live stream where I will give you my opinion. Should we be breaking this daily to the downside? Are we still expecting to hold support of our, you know, we have the potential, for example, of a swing failure pattern. Will we be looking for the swing failure pattern or will we be looking towards 43,000, 42,900? Or are we breaking to the upside? Are we expecting the CC to break and head towards 47,000? Or are we seeing, you know, this sort of, you know, are we seeing absorption? And actually, e.g., I don't think many people understand, from the, especially from the public, if they haven't studied any of this, you're probably not going to understand this. So if you want a live stream where I'll talk you through it as it's happening, smash that like button and I will be more than happy to do it. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I, I have enjoyed this video. I have honestly enjoyed it. It's been fun. And trading right now is, is a joy. It truly is a joy. The levels are being respected. Well, what can we say? Absolutely, insanely, perfectly well. And, uh, yeah, keep your eyes on the levels that we're giving. They are well respected. And obviously, we got the World Series of Trading in two days for another competition that we're going to absolutely crush. I'll give you more details on that one. And um, yeah, CC Pool sent their regards. Hope this was helpful. Thank you ever so much. Have a good day and goodbye. Cheers.